up everybody, it is Jack Daniel, today on Honest Reviews, uh, slash Hack the Planet, this is a crossover episode, we're going to be looking at some power banks from Walmart, this is, uh, I don't know what the brand on these are, I've had this one for, shoot, at least a year probably, these are um, 5 to $15, depending on what size you get at Walmart, and uh, this is one that I've had for quite some time, it works really good. Um, I can get like two charges on my phone out of it, uh, and that's without charging all the time. I can leave it in a bag for two weeks and get a couple good charges out of it. Or um, this one particularly, I leave in a bag with a set of Bluetooth headphones so that they're always uh, able to be charged if they get low. But uh, I was walking today, and I found this, which is the exact same one, but it has come loose in the case somehow, probably from falling. It's hard to tell, it looks pretty wanged up. I think maybe it fell out and got ran over. But we're going to attempt to get in this baby and see what it takes to get it fixed because uh, I think it'll probably be fine, it just fell on the ground. So we're gonna try and pop it open and see if we can get it to uh, come back to life. What do you say? Let's hack the planet. Okay, so I've got here uh, a couple street sweepers. This one's got a little bit of an angle to it. And this one does as well, a different angle, but this one is rounded and also been kind of filed down. So we're going to try and pop this bad boy open. It's, it feels like it's going to come open pretty easy. trick is to get this down in there. It's going to take probably both shims or street super bristles to get this thing going. Oops. Well, maybe not. So what I like to do is just leave one in there. Oops. See now there's a pitfall. Okay. Things to avoid. I broke the plastic right there just now. So keep to this edge. Put our shim in. See me get the other side to pop open here. It's probably like watching a video on a moving ship right now and that <laughs> honestly at this point I'm not concerned about saving the case if I can keep the device in working order case is really of no consequence to me there it goes So I've got some tools out here. This thing is crazy. <laughs> it's a well made case, I'm not gonna lie. Oops. Biting into the battery a little bit there. So it appears to be hanging up in here. Ah, there we go. So after a bit of struggle, the moral of the story is there's a catch somewhere right in here. But I think we've got her open. Okay. She 
Jesus, a crazy case. It must be glued. But like I said, I'm not too concerned with that because I just want to get it out of there. And see if it works. See the lights and everything are on this side. Everything appears to be intact. A little dusty. What I want to know is how did this lose its way? There's a, see there's holes here. There's a hole here and a hole here. And I think if you could get the case open, something as simple as a toothpick through there to hold that in place and then you put the case back on you're probably good to go so let's see if this lights up that's really the big question this is what comes with them for a charging cable we're going to go ahead and jump from this battery to the new one and try not to electrocute ourselves in the process and there it is charging away so <clears throat> that means that the battery bank should be okay and it's actually two of them if you're curious what's in here this is two cell phone batteries essentially two 10,000 amp see them? I can't really lift them up to show you but there's two let's see there you go you can see there's two. And then there's just a simple board here with the one input and two outputs. And that's that. So all I need to simply do is fill this gap. What was happening was this would slide down out of the way. So we're going to put it up as far forward as we can get it. And we're just going to fill this with wadding which will be, our wadding will be uh, uh, some tissue, some tissue because it's not conductive. Um, I'm trying to think what would be better. Plastic would be probably the best bet. We'll, we'll find some plastic and we'll insulate it with that. Okay, so for insulation, what I have here is a plastic door dash wrapper from some silverware. This is gonna be our wadding slash insulation I think it'll work. What I'm gonna do is hold this up in half or something and roll it up. I don't know if this will be thick enough. We're gonna try it out. We're just gonna stuff that in there. Make sure this stays seated all the way to the front, like so. And then we're going to leave this folded over because we want that to jump the gap as well. Now, there's a piece of plastic here that's designed to go in between. I don't know how that's going to work out. Try it out right now. And we'll push all this down. Ow. And my finger now. Okay. So now the case is back on. Relatively. <laughs> Which is good enough for me. I'm just going to tape it back on anyway. Who cares? And here's the million dollar question. Does everything plug in and work? Oh, snap. It plugs in and works. So, uh, if you have some, if you have a black one of these, I'd suggest using black electrical tape. What I have is some packing tape. I don't know where my electrical tape is. But, uh, we could do, we'll, this, we'll do a nice clean single wrap here. There's our bandage boo-boo.
from popping the cover off. Uh, you don't really need to do this. You could glue the cover back on, I guess. But, I don't know. The button works. Everything works again. So, I'm going to cover it right here so I don't cover the button. to attempt a nice clean cover again. That's pretty close, huh? There you have it, my babies. A salvaged battery. $10 battery from Walmart. Now I have to say, uh, from a review standpoint, this battery, mine, has worked great. I mean, it's one of the best batteries I've ever owned. And I've had it over a year. So when I saw this one on the ground, I knew I needed it to be mine. I said, yep, it's been ran over. It fell out of a truck, you could tell, and been ran over. Knocked loose. But we saved it. And here we go, just again, proof of concept. We plug this bad boy in. It goes right in. And we plug it into our babies. And we get lights. And then just make sure we can plug in our USBs. And switch it. Yep. And we'll try it again on this side. Yep. Can you see that? Let me hold it like this. So we'll just make sure all our outlets work. That one works. That one works. Good to go. I saved uh, a $15 investment right there. I think these are 10 or $15. These are the 20,000 milliamp. That's why it has uh, two batteries in here. So now there are four. Thanks for watching. This has been a Hack the Planet slash Honest Review of what I call the $10 Walmart battery. These are in the checkout lane at Walmart. They're pretty rugged and durable if you think about it. I mean, I stuck a piece of plastic in there and fixed it. <laughs> Busted it open, put some tape on it, and we're good to go, right? Now, I could go in and super glue all this and really be good to go, and I think I might. If nothing else, I'm gonna tape across here again and then cut me a little space for the blinkers. But yeah, that's going on the wall. We're going to see if it starts on fire. <laughs> I'll let you know how it goes. All right, so <clears throat> these are huge power banks. As I said, <clears throat> I can get at least two charges on my big-ass stylo phone, which I think is essentially the same two batteries that are in here. Um, <clears throat> this, I think, has probably been broken for a long time because it's super dead. Uh, it's been on the charger for most of an hour and it's just finally getting into the second blinking light there but it is charging up just fine and everything seems to be working good and it is ice cold it's not getting hot or anything so we have a repaired device how cool is that